In this video I'm going to work out two examples of how you would go about simplifying a rational expression. I am going to assume that you know how to factor trinomials um, both with a leading coefficient of 1 and a leading coefficient with something other than 1. And then uh, basically all other types of factoring like the difference of two squares, taking out the greatest common factor. At this point if you are trying to simplify rational expressions you have to know how to factor. Okay, so let's begin here. On these, I usually work these across just because it's easier with it being a rational expression. So I'm going to take this numerator right here. I'm going to look and I'm going to see that it is a trinomial. And it has a leading coefficient of 1, so I'm going to do a guess and check on this one. So I know it's going to factor into two separate binomials. I know my leading term on both of them has to be an x and an x because x times x is x squared. I'm going to come up with factors that multiply together to get negative 15, but when added gives me a negative 2. You go through your process, you don't have very many factors of 15. 1 and 15, 3 and 5 are your only choices. All right, so I know I'm going to have a 3 and a 5. All right, and I have to have a negative 2 here and a negative 15, so I need unlike signs, and that negative needs to go on the 5 so that the 2 is negative. So it's a guess and check on that. All right, on the um, bottom, I think what I want to do is probably um, another guess and check. You can do slide and divide, but if you try to do slide and divide here and you do it in the work here, it's going to make it a little more complicated. So I think this one's going to be easy enough that we can just guess and check it. So again, we'll guess and check. On my 3x squared right there, my only options are going to be 3 and 1. So I know I'm going to have a 3x and an x. 3x times x is going to be 3x squared. Okay, now I've got to have factors of 3, and I need a 8 in the middle. If I put a 3 here, I would have 3, and 3 more is only going to give me a 6. If I put 3 here, 3 times 3 is going to give me a 9. So I think I'm going to put my 3 here and my 1 here, and then I need a positive 8 in the middle. So that 9's got to be positive, and the 1's got to be negative. Now I guess and check works usually pretty well. If you don't like guess and check, there's tons of other methods. You could have taken this and, and come over here and done a slide and divide, or any other type of method that you're used to on factoring your trinomials. All right, now at this point, hopefully you're going to have something that's going to match. I've got an x plus 3 on the top. I've got an x plus 3 on the bottom. So those are going to cross out. And then that's going to leave me with an x minus 5 on the top and a 3x minus 1 on the bottom. So that one is a pretty straightforward, just two trinomials guessing and checking. All right, for a second example. Here, again, we're going to do a trinomial on the top and then a binomial on the bottom and see where this takes us. All right, now on this trinomial on the top, I think what I want to make sure and look for is my greatest common factor because I'm seeing a 3 and a 9 and a 12. So I'm going to have a greatest common factor of 3 on the top that I can take out. Looking very closely here at the bottom, I can take a 9 out and I can also take out an x. So I am going to take out that greatest common factor on both of these. When I take the 3 out on the top, I will be left with an x squared, and then a plus 3xy, and then a minus 4y squared. Taking out the 9x on the bottom, I'll have a 9x. In this first term, then, that's going to leave me with an x squared, and uh, as a second term here, minus y squared. Okay, now, the... Uh, the 3 and the 9x, I'm just going to leave there. For a while, I'm going to focus with what I have on the inside of the parentheses. I've got a trinomial here that's going to factor with a guess and check. It's got some extra variables in there, but it's still going to be a trinomial that we guess and check. And on the bottom right here is going to be the difference of two squares. I've got a perfect square here, perfect square here, and I am subtracting. Okay, so I think I'm going to come down here to continue this. The 3 I'm just going to keep right now. I know this is going to factor into two binomials. My 9x is going to stay. Now since this is the difference of two squares and it goes really easy here, let's go ahead and factor that into an x um, plus y and an x minus y. That difference of two squares right there. All right, now let's focus with this on up here. I know I'm going to have an x in my first terms here, so I'm going to have an x 
and an x. I know I'm going to have to have a y and a y to get a y squared, so let's go ahead and put those y's in. Now I just have to figure out what the coefficients are going to be right here. On factors of 4, I could use 1 and 4, or I could use 2 and 2. But 2 and 2 is not going to get me a 3 there, so I know I have to use the 4 and the 1. Alright, so let's just put the 4 in, and then I'm not going to put the 1 in, but it would be right there if I put it in. Alright, now I need negative 4, so one of these have to be negative, one has to be positive. I want the 3 to be positive, so that means my 4 needs to be positive. And then I've got a negative there x minus y. Alright, now I'm going to start looking for things that I can cross out. I've got an x minus y here, I've got an x minus y here, so both of those cross out. I also have 3 over 9 here. I could reduce that just like a regular fraction. 3 goes into 3 one time, 3 goes into 9 three times. Alright, as a final answer then, across the top I've got an x plus a 4y, and on the bottom I've got a 3, an x, and an x plus y. So a 3x, and then an x plus y. Alright, so two uh, quick examples there on how to go about simplifying a rational expression. Alright, the key to this is you have to know how to factor. Everything um, in that numerator and denominator is going to be something that is probably going to factor, which then will allow you to cross things out when you get uh, to that factored form. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, be sure and uh, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share with your friends. Thanks.